What's up guys, Kurt here, and today we're going to check out my SKX007 mod. And we're going to pop off the bezel and put a new bezel on there, a coin edge bezel from LCBI, as well as a new sapphire loomed insert. Now this is the Pepsi insert, and uh, I was going to go with the black one, but I figured let's just try the Pepsi one to see what it looks like. Uh, it might be good, it might not be good, it might be beautiful, I'm not sure, we'll see what happens. Alright guys, I am not going to tape it up this time. I'm just going to go ahead and use my knife. and It's going to just get this bezel off here. And I'm just going to kind of just get the sharp edge into the little crevice right there. It's a very small crevice. And I'm just going to put the sharp edge into that crevice. And I'm just going to kind of get open it up. You push it in, it kind of pops right out. Then I'm going to go with my little tool here and just... Pop it out. There you go. Bada boom, bada bing. It's actually quite, quite easy once you get the hang of it. And then uh, it becomes a little, little bit of a skin situation. There's a little bit of a dingleberry. But it, it becomes quite easy with practice. And then you don't need to worry about it too much after that. So let's, uh, let's do some other things. All right, guys. Here we go. This is the, the SKX without the bezel removed. And I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, the edge where I did the knife in. Now there is a little bit of uh, scuff marks from my previous attempts when I did the first video for this this mod, and uh, you know that's unfortunate. But learning learning mistakes, you know, growing pains. So that's where we're at, and that's a very easy way to do it without damaging your SKX. So now I'm going to get the new bezel. And we're gonna check it out. Let me check out the new bezel. Let me zoom back out here real quick. There you go. I'm gonna open this case. And there you go. That's the uh, that's the Pepsi bezel, the sapphire bezel from LCBI. We're gonna put that on there. But first, let's uh, let's get the let's get the sticky stuff on it. Where's the sticky stuff? Here, I got it on the side here. Again, I want to mention to you guys that this is not the adhesive. This is not the adhesive. This is the actual paint on the underside of the bezel itself. Do not attempt to peel that. It's not going to, it's not going to go very well for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off half of the adhesive. Yeah, this is the way you're supposed to do it, guys. Just peel it back. Like I was told, and then just put your put your sapphire insert sapphire insert on it, and then peel back the rest. That's the easiest, best way to do it, apparently, because I am a bloody noob. And then just do it like that, and then peel back this right here. There you go. There you go. That's the best way to do it. And then, apparently, just pop out the middle. So, I just learned the super best friends way of doing this, doing this insert. And then, then, now I can peel off this part, which should be a lot easier. All right, I finally got the dam back off. And after doing some investigation, I found that if you live in very humid environments, this little sticky thing can become very useless because of how how humid everything is. So before I put this on, I'm going to slap the bezel on. And the retainer ring is all nice in there. Check to see if the bezel has the gasket. The bezel does have the gasket in. And then we're just going to fix it like so. I'm gonna get my crystal press. I'm gonna zoom out real quick. Zoom out. Crystal press already got the right stuff on here. I'm gonna put a little woogie on the bottom so nothing gets scratched. And then I'm gonna put the woogie. I'm gonna blow everything out here. I'm just gonna just gonna do a little squishy blow around here just to get all the gunk out. Then I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put the, the bezel on. Like that, and then we're gonna put the book. We're gonna put the blankie over the bezel insert or the bezel just to make sure that it doesn't get scratched up. Press down, and I believe that should be it. There you go. 
turns just fine. Everything is good. Now we're gonna put the bezel insert on, and we're gonna find we're gonna find a nice little center spot on the watch. Make sure there's no play back and forth, and then we're gonna affix the bezel insert nice and carefully, making sure everything is aligned. There's actually a bunch of crud on here. I'm gonna wipe it off with a rag or a paper towel, actually. Wipe it off with a paper towel. Make sure there's no hand oils or crud or anything. There you go. Then give it a little, give it a little squishy blow. You can use canned air. Canned air has become my good friend in doing these kinds of things. So now, just get it in there real quick. And is it centered? I can't tell if it's centered. That should be centered. Press down and gently let go everything else. Booyah! There you go. And there you have it, guys. That is the Pepsi SKX Sapphire Insert and coin edge bezel so I'm gonna put it on a strap and I'll be right back here it is guys the final product I put it on the Barton alligator watch band because it matches very perfectly or almost perfectly with that blue on the Pepsi the Pepsi side of the bezel and I think it looks pretty dang good if I do say so myself would you just look at that I don't understand why every sapphire crystal I have eventually has a little circle over here I think it's because I'm wiping it down with water and that water gets a little residue on it. Anyway, let's put it on my wrist. Really happy with the way this came out too. Stay tuned for the beauty shots at the end. And um, hopefully I can do something really cool with that. I've been working on doing some cool beauty shots. And I got a new, I got a new trick up my sleeve. But there you go. There is the SKX mod with the new Sapphire insert from LCBI. The Pepsi style Sapphire insert from LCBI and their new coin edge bezel looking mighty sharp if i do say so myself now i like the, the planet ocean style pre, the, which was previously on there but i think this new skx style insert just brings it back home you know what i mean it just brings it back home and makes it look uh, like it's supposed to be and there you have it that's the that's this new setup that i have and let's check out the loom shall we check the loom check the loom Make it glow, check the loom, use a light, make it glow, check the loom, check the loom, check the loom, check the loom. Okay guys, I have it already set at the high ISO that I like and I'm just going to give it a blast of light air, air light, and we're going to check it out in a bit. And then boom, there you go, woo hoo hoo, would you just look at that, that is beautiful. Oh, there is, uh, there is some light bleeding over by the, by the, uh, what you call it? Come on, focus, focus. There, you see over here, it's kind of bleeding some light under, under the bezel. I guess uh, some of the, some of the loom material got uh, on the sides over there, or uh, I don't know. I don't know why it's bleeding light right there. It's kind of interesting. It's like it's like it's not quite perfect. Hmm, that's weird. I'm gonna have to try and pop this sucker off and address that situation somehow. But other than that, the loom looks really good. And keeping up with the rest of the Seiko loom, if, if actually, actually some of the, I think the the sapphire bezel, the sap, uh, the loom on the insert is actually brighter than the SKX loom, which is pretty crazy, which is pretty crazy. So anyway, let's see what the boys have to say about it. Hey guys, what's up? What to do? What's up? So what do you think about this new version of, or this updated version of my SKX mod? Uh, you know that thing is pretty sexy, man. I, I, I think it's, I think it's super sexy. Don't you like the single turtle better? 
Yeah, I like the turtle too, but the, the S-Kicks is six A. I want to give it my bezel insert, you know what I mean? <laughs> Check my lube. Make it grow. <sighs> the sheer amount of idiot is astounding. Uncle Jimmy is right, though. This thing is nice. It's real nice. I like it. Good job. Your videos suck. Yeah, your videos suck. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, uh, that's my review of this updated SKX mod and how to and etc and i know this video is just really terrible and all over the place because it's been a weird day valentine's day and stuff but i would also like to give some shout outs to charlie brewer charlie brewer for the super help with the channel martin g uh, for the donation Stuart over at resourceful restoration for the donation donations tom nunes for donating and donating some straps for a giveaway which i'll do soon thank you tom and to everybody else to support the channel thank you very much May your peanut be happy, and thanks for watching. Yeah.